some trending products and niches right now for quarter four 2024 these are hopefully going to inspire you to create some really amazing designs grow your print on demand catalog for amazon merch etsy or shopify or t public or wherever you sell and i hope that these designs give you some inspiration into you know just how much opportunity there really is these are going to be best sellers these are going to be new trends these are going to be old trends and I'm going to try and obviously stick away from the really, really obvious stuff like political figures and, and politics because we all know that that's going to blow up in the last part of this year. However, I want to show you some that maybe you haven't thought of, maybe some that's going to give you a little bit of inspiration and help you build your passive income streams. So, you know, we're not going to be copying any designs. I would recommend getting inspiration and creating your own unique designs. It's going to help you stand out and it's also just going to help you earn more commissions I promise putting in your own creativity, changing the design slightly to fit a different niche or doing something to improve it or make it your own is going to earn you more commissions and is going to help you stay in the program for the long term and not just those short term wins. And here we have a design. It's rock on Bigfoot. Sasquatch loves rock and roll. It's very simple. I would improve this by maybe putting a guitar in his hand in his other hand maybe a drum set in the background, maybe some fire going off, you know, just to, just to emphasize the rock and roll element of this. But overall, really simple design to actually make with artificial intelligence. And if you guys do stick to the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how you can actually create these designs in a few seconds using free AI tools. One thing you can do is play into the political world, but you don't necessarily have to pick a candidate. You could simply just say, end it, 2024 giant meteor something like that this one here is funny and it doesn't refer to any particular politician so i'll cover it but it says overeducated cat lady who votes so again we're speaking to a specific audience overeducated cat ladies people who went to college and have cats and people who are maybe going to vote one way or another but they aren't explicitly saying it on the design so there are countless ways to actually do political designs without aligning with left or right or Republican or Democrat or whatever it might be. So there's definitely a middle ground where you can put in humor, you can put in sarcasm, you can put in jokes and puns and memes. We have, first of all, I'm a delight, a sarcastic, angry possum design. And it's got a possum with, you know, fangs out and a sunset background behind it. So this is an example of some of the, um, it's called possum core. I've seen it called possum core for SEO purposes. And it's usually like raccoons or possums or nocturnal creatures and some sort of funny saying or quote with them as well. And even with what's going around right now with TikTok, the very demure, very thoughtful, very mindful, that trend you could translate over to maybe something like this um, style of sarcasm um, you know, just something off the top of my head. Maybe you have an maybe you have a possum that's smiling, and you say very demure, very classy, something like that. Um, so as you're scrolling through these, or as you're watching this video and seeing these designs, be sure to take note of what you see working over and over again. Be sure to take note of some of the trends from the best-selling designs, so that you can go out and do some sort of spin or some sort of alternative take on that design so that you can also succeed. And you can use AI to actually create a design like this where we have a cat eating ramen. It's like a Japanese manga style. You could have AI create this and replace it with different animals. So look at some of the top animals that people have like rabbits and dogs and maybe some of the top dog breeds even as well. This one here is a rock on guitar neck skeleton hand. So again, very simple to produce with AI. And as Halloween rolls around, we're going to see a lot more designs like this really starting to take off. So we're really going to see a lot more of the spooky designs, the skeletons, the witches, stuff like that as we head towards Halloween. And again, we see it pretty frequently but another trending bestseller is you know this western style design of an animal and this was probably generated with ai and i'll show you at the end of the video how to do this but basically this is something that will work interchangeably for all different types of animals you could do something similar but with a chicken or with a cow or a llama or a dog 
and you could probably create a similar feeling, a similar style of design and maybe improve on it as well. Add some text, add something to it, remove something from it if there needs to be something removed. So that you have options there as well. We have a couple more skeleton designs here. Seems like this one's selling really well. BSR is going down. This one as well, the BSR is going down. Another punk rock skeleton. So I'm seeing a lot of rock and roll. I'm seeing a lot of skeletons. This is something that we probably maybe want to create a couple designs for. When it comes to children's t-shirts, like this one here, awesome since 2021, three wrecks. You know, you can create a third birthday shirt, a fourth birthday shirt, a fifth birthday shirt, all from the same sort of design, but just changing out the text. I'm sure you're already aware of that, but these do really, really well. Don't neglect the idea of merging first day of school with dinosaurs or unicorns or construction equipment. You know, this one here says I'm ready to crush preschool and the BSR is just dropping like a rock on this product. So the sales are going up for this seller. And again, it's not gonna be, you know, adults that are wearing this shirt. This is for kids that are going back to school, which is happening right now. This is definitely a good time to be in that niche. We have a capybara playing video games. This could be generated with AI, but you could have other animals playing video games, engaging in other hobbies and doing different things like this and you could have a successful design on your hand for many different niches. For this one, it might be capybara and gaming, but for someone else, it might be French bulldogs and gaming, or it might be French bulldogs and writing or crocheting or whatever. Let the fourth grade adventure begin. So again, you could create third grade adventure, second grade adventure, first grade adventure. You could have multiple shirts live on Amazon multiple products live on Amazon, Etsy, Shopify, wherever you are selling. Again, we see another Bigfoot style design. If you can merge any sort of normal activity or any sort of daily life or any sort of funny puns with Bigfoot or with paranormal activity, then you can sometimes see your designs sell really well because you've created a new, unique, creative design that people find funny. And one thing to keep in mind is if you're out, if you're on TikTok, if you're on Reddit, if you're looking at different comments that people are making, try and see if they're leaving jokes that people are upvoting or people are liking, because those can be things that might make a good T-shirt. Um, you know, the very demure trend that's on TikTok right now. That's actually something that you know people are paying money for to have on a T-shirt or a phone case or a pop socket and all the different things that you know you you personally sell these messages on for example Amazon merch you know if you do a search for that right now you might see a lot of people that have already created designs for it but um, at this point in time there's only a few listed just pay attention to different trends that are happening different things that people are saying on social media different videos that go viral we all have these videos in our mind that go viral and there's certain things that they say or th certain things that they do that could be translated into a t-shirt especially if you're selling on Amazon merch you can just quickly make that design get it up live on Amazon really quickly and you're good to go any sort of sarcastic or self depreciating humor can work well so this one's the little pecker um, so you can kind of figure that one out but any sort of self depreciating humor can work well because some people do gravitate towards making people laugh by wearing things or saying things or doing things that basically makes them look silly. They may also lose a bet and people will make them buy a shirt to wear or they will buy a shirt and gift it to them as a way of punishing them for losing that bet. <laughs> so here's a really creative one. It says types of dinosaurs alphabet. So from A to Z has different dinosaurs. This would be a fantastic kids shirt and you can see that the BSR is dropping. Again, going back to adult humor and animal humor and puns, you can really get creative with this and this is something that has consistently always done well on t-shirts. Having some sort of animal puns or jokes can do well. Um, in this case, it might be targeted more towards like hunters and outdoorsmen and people who hunt deer. We're gonna see a lot more Halloween stuff selling like this, girls will be girls. Um, a lot more spooky season stuff definitely is going to start selling really well. 
This is my 70s costume. So you'll see different t-shirts that are basically a lazy way out for a Halloween costume and people will wear like, you know, all yellow and be like, I'm a mustard bottle. Or they'll wear this and say, this is my 70s costume. And so it's kind of their, their easy way into a Halloween costume, maybe for a work function that they didn't really want to dress up for anyway, or maybe they just don't like dressing up. And so this is basically a way for you to have endless creativity to create costumes for people. Um, of course, it's not actually a costume. It's just going to be the t-shirt or the hoodie or whatever it is that they purchase with the design on it. But um, you can get creative with this. You can put like a cat face on the actual, just the eyes and the mouth of a cat on the shirt. And then it will be like, you know, you look like a cat or you look like an alien or you look like whatever it is. So um, Halloween is definitely a good focus right now. We've seen a lot of these shirts doing well where a cat is holding a phone and it's surprised and something's happening in the background. It might be aliens, might be Bigfoot. Um, you can get creative with this though. You can definitely create some designs with AI where a cat is holding the phone like a selfie and then you capture different weird things happening in the background. This is a great example of a successful merging of two different niches. We have bass fishing and the US American flag and then it's all wrapped up by a nice camo effect. So this type of design is exactly what you're looking for when you're trying to merge two niches to make one design and you're trying to really double down and appeal and resonate to one particular um, type of person. Someone that really likes fishing and someone that really likes um, patriotism and this design is definitely um, getting sales and going down in BSR as well. Faith-based designs, even if they're just Bible verses or different things that different messages of inspiration uh, or faith, these style of designs do really well. So this one says, I've read the final chapter and God wins. And this is an example of a faith style design that you could create. I feel like these do really well year round. They're evergreen, but they do especially well uh, during quarter four, during the Christmas season. This design here is very simple. It just says faith with a cross. It's very subtle. It's very small. Um, you may you may basically play around with this idea by instead of saying faith, maybe you just say Jesus and you put a cross, or maybe you um, put a courage and then a cross or something like that. So there are different words that you can interchange here. Another great example of two niches that were merged well. You've taken patriotism and the American flag and merged it with bikers and biking and it just looks absolutely wonderful and it's getting sales. This is the type of style that you want to go for. Um, you know, you can take the American flag and basically apply it to many different things that people are passionate about and then you've basically merged those two things, the patriotism that that person has and the love that that person has for a sport or a hobby. Okay, so as promised, I'm going to show you how to generate designs for free using a new AI model called Ideogram 2.0. So I've covered how to use this tool before, but it was always you know, the beta version or the 1.0. Now we're at 2.0 and things have definitely gotten so much better. You know, you can change the color palette to be exactly what you want it to be. Text has dramatically improved. So even longer sentences, longer phrases have dramatically improved. So uh, one thing that we can do is just come into the prompt box and we can simply type out exactly what we want. So we're gonna say Bigfoot on fire with a guitar in one hand and a rock on gesture. And then I always like to end my prompt with professional t-shirt design on black background. Now I am gonna select the highest quality for rendering. I'm gonna leave the color palette on auto, but if I wanted this to be a specific color palette, I could choose those colors and then I'm gonna hit generate. Now another thing that I could do to fine tune my results even more is to choose design because for our print on demand apparel and our print on demand products, we're looking for more design based art, not realistic, not as much anime or 3D. We're really just looking for that design based. Okay, so here's an example of what we got back. So this one looks pretty decent. His eyes are kind of messed up and then he's not quite doing the rock on symbol correctly. This one looks good. Um, this one's not too bad. And this one here, not terrible. 
This one here, he has the wrong hand gesture once again. Uh, let's look at this one here. I regenerated under the design category. Uh, this one's not bad. I like this one because it literally says I'm on fire, which is, I like the overall completeness of this design. I didn't ask for this text, but it put it in anyway. This one here looks decent, but it's still not following the instructions that we asked for. And then this one here is a little bit different. I don't know where the smoke is coming from here. And then again, there's no rock on gesture. Now you might be wondering how do we actually use this on a product? Because right now there's probably some sort of weird background that we need to remove and everything like that. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you can remove the background with both Canva and a free tool called remove.bg. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this and then I'll show you how to actually remove the backgrounds. Okay, so go ahead and open up a Canva document. I like the size 4,500 by 5,400. It's just a really good size to have for things like t-shirts and hoodies and general apparel. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that design in that we downloaded. And now it's on our Canva screen. So we can actually just enlarge this a little bit so we can see it a bit better. And what we're gonna do is actually hit edit image. And then we're gonna do background remover. So this one here called BG remover, and then it should get rid of the background for the design for us. Now it did leave a few flames in the background here. So it didn't remove this. If we wanted to, we could go in and fine tune this. We could actually hit edit image. We could hit BG remover one more time, and we could go in and we could restore these flames here. Or actually, no, it looks like uh, it looks like Ideogram just made these flames white, so never mind. But if we wanted to fine tune this, like if it cut off certain elements that we that we didn't want cut off, like for example, this line here um, got a little bit cut off, we could easily restore this. And now we have that line back once again. And so just go through and make sure that it didn't accidentally cut off anything you didn't want it to cut off. And that's exactly how you use the Canva BG remover tool. So it did an okay job, but let's see if there's another tool that maybe we could use to get the background removed. This is called remove.bg. I'm gonna upload the image here, the exact same image that we had uh, originally with the black background, and then it's going to automatically remove that background for us. Now this time it looks like it got everything pretty close, but again, some of the outline there on the design still got cut out. So you have to be careful of some of these tools. Uh, they don't always cut out the design perfectly. You might have to go back in and erase and restore certain parts to make sure that it looks good. As you can see though, we're gonna try a different design with remove.bg. Simply upload this design, put it into this tool, and then it's gonna automatically detect the background in the foreground. It's gonna remove the background so that we can actually use it on our print-on-demand designs. And there we go. That looks great to me. I think that that looks perfect. So from here, you would download this design. Now, with remove.bg, you do need to sign up for an account in order to get the HD download, which you probably will want. And then if you're trying to put this on a larger product, you're going to want to upscale this. Uh, there are a few options that you can use for upscalers, but I'm going to show you one here now that is free to use. And this one's pretty straightforward. You're simply going to select the image that you want to upscale. And this one is free to use. You're simply going to hit start. And you're going to select whether you're using artwork or photo. So we're gonna do artwork. We're gonna do upscaling up to four times. And then if you want eight times or 16 times, you're going to want to go ahead and upgrade. Um, but four times will be plenty for what we need it for. And then go ahead and hit the highest noise reduction as well. Hit okay. And then it's gonna upload and start making your image four times larger than it is now. So if you're going to need to upscale your images more than four times, maybe you need eight or 16 times, there is a free tool called dgb.lol. I will include a link for this and you will have to wait for it to finish basically upscaling. And there are some ads here. So you can do a maximum of three files as a free user at once. And this is another solution for upscaling.
So once you have your designs prepped and ready, the backgrounds are removed, they're upscaled, you're ready to start putting them on products. Now, the supplier that I recommend is Printify. I'm gonna include a link for them in the description below. If you haven't signed up, they are 100% free to use, and they have what I would say is probably the best product catalog and the best service overall when it comes to shipping and quality and everything else. And so I would definitely look into at least adding this to your um, your toolkit of suppliers that you use. So here's some of their best sellers. They also have a TikTok ready section. So if you're wanting to sell on TikTok shop, you can basically know for sure that these are going to have express delivery and express shipping. So TikTok's not going to get frustrated with you and Printify is going to work with you to get these shipped out really, really fast. So this quarter four, you're wanting to sell on TikTok there's not really been a better time because Printify now directly integrates. You can simply connect your TikTok shop and then you're able to actually post your products directly to TikTok. So all of these products are ready to go. They have fast shipping, fast fulfillment, and great variety for you. So this is what, this is what I would do once you get your designs made. Come in here and actually start applying them to products and not only list them to your Shopify store, but also put them on organic marketplaces like Etsy, Amazon, TikTok shop. So we started with product research and we mainly looked at things like t-shirt designs, hoodie designs, but look at all of the different product potential that you have in here and what you can actually create with AI now that you know how to use Ideogram. We'll go ahead and go back and show you how to create a few more designs with Ideogram but I just want to emphasize all of the new products and all of the products that are shipped out really fast, even if you're trying to sell on TikTok. So here's an example of a design that I made that has pretty, pretty lengthy text. Um, the word everything is spelled correctly. Um, you know, it got the entire phrase in there. Let's see um, some other examples. Here's one that I generated. Uh, I think the font looks really great whenever it comes down to actually matching the scene and matching the rest of the graphic. And if you're still looking for inspiration, you're still trying to find good ideas, a great place to go is actually the home page and then click on design. And then you're going to see a lot of the popular uh, designs right now. And this one, for example, it didn't spell everything perfectly inside of the outline of her hair but it did get the main point across. It's a pretty good looking design. There's also a few different options here. So this is pushing the boundaries of what this AI art engine can accomplish. And I feel like it's doing a pretty good job. Um, are there some small parts of refinement that need to be made? Probably, but overall, I think that many people would be pretty happy receiving a design like this. So let's say you wanted to create something similar to this. You want Ideogram to basically use this as a reference, as an example for you. So you can hit this button right here that says Remix, and then you're going to be able to actually change the prompt if you need to. You can change the image weight as to how much it's actually putting weight on that image. 100% um, would mean that it's very, very, very close to your reference. 50% would be much farther away. And then 10%, for example, would be a very, very light reference. So let's set it to 30%. And we're not gonna change the prompt at all. One thing that we are gonna change is the color palette. So we can change this color palette to something like pastel, for example. And then let's see what happens whenever we remix. Okay, so you can see that it actually followed our pastel color scheme. I don't think it looks nearly as good as the originals, um, but it does show how it is following that color scheme. And um, you can see how it also regenerated a very similar design. So let's go back and let's actually uh, remix this one more time. And we're gonna do an auto color palette this time. Um, and part of the reason why we may have ran into some some issues with that last generation is because it does say use warm earthy tones like browns and golds so um, we didn't take that out of the prompt and so it still kind of got confused on what colors we actually wanted to use let's set the image weight to actually 10% let's set it to design let's make sure this is on highest quality and let's go ahead and hit remix 
So this is a great way if you don't know what else to do, you can simply come here and scroll through some designs and you'll probably get some inspiration. You'll probably at least see something that maybe you could recreate, maybe something you could put your own creative twist on. Uh, for example, this image right here um, is one of the best selling designs right now on Amazon and on TikTok. And someone here is obviously regenerating this design, but in different styles. And um, this is the perfect tool to use for generating something like this. Like this one's really interesting. The details on it look great. It looks like an old fringed worn out photo that's been distressed. I mean, it looks really nice, really good generation. Um, so you can see some of the different options here, but I believe our last generation of uh, that we just did is complete. So I really like how these turned out. They look really nice. And the same concept applies to any design that you remix. So let's go find another one, for example. So let's say we did our research and we liked this design. We felt like, um, you know, this is something that, that would do well. Something's telling us that this would be a good niche to sell in. Then we can hit remix. And once again, we're gonna set the image weight to 20. And if you wanna change something about this, you can. I'm gonna go ahead and say the background is black. And I'm gonna say it's a, I'm gonna take out black and white sketch. I'm just gonna say that it's a sketch style t-shirt design. And then we're going to leave everything else the same and go ahead and hit remix. Okay, so the generations that came back look absolutely great. This time, instead of it being a you know black and white sketch with no color, we actually have all of the fall and autumn colors coming in. This one especially, I think, looks amazing. This one here looks really close to the original that we were generating, but again, it's filled in with color. And then this one here also looks really nice. I like the little sparkle effects next to the text. I think that these are all really great options. So if you play with Ideogram 2.0, the free version, be sure to go through multiple generations, make sure that you are trying out different designs. And if nothing else, go to the homepage, find a design you like and remix it and work with some remixes. Um, so I hope that this helps you create some amazing designs. The Facebook group is free, it's linked below. You can connect with me and other print on demand sellers there. Um, otherwise, join Printify. Hope that you create something awesome with the tools we went over today, the research we went over today, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.